이번에는 나라박 소식입니다. 2009년 미국에서는 믿기지 않는 일이 있었죠. 그것은 바로 비행기 추락 사고가 있었지만 탑승객 155명 전원이 생존한 기적이 일어났던 것입니다. 그 일을 허드슨강의 기적이라고 부르는데 최근 이 감동시라는 영화로 만들어져서 관심을 모으기도 했습니다. 이와 비슷한 일이 1989년에도 있었는데요. 비록 전원 구조되진 못했지만 희생을 최소화할 수 있었던 건 하나님의 도우심 때문이었다고 생존자는 증언합니다. 미국에서 전해온 소식입니다. We heard and watched that day, July 19, 1989, when a jumbo jet lost its hydraulics, making it virtually impossible to control. Plane 19 is coming down real fast down the south end. Okay, all right, stand by. He's on fire. Do you remember that day, Helen? I remember every minute of that day as vividly as if it were last week. What we didn't know is how this tested the faith of Helen Young Hayes, a successful money manager seated in row 9, seat B. Armed with faith, she prayed the impossible, that God literally guide the pilot's hands as they attempted to land a DC-10 with no hydraulic assistance, something never done before. Just as I figured out that something was wrong, the captain came on again and he said, ladies and gentlemen, we will not be making it to Chicago after all. We have sustained tail damage to our plane. We're going to attempt an emergency landing in Sioux City, Iowa in 35 minutes. And I'm not going to kid you folks. It's going to be rough. Tell us about it. The plane was just careening about. I looked up, and as I was being thrown around in my seat, I saw myself surrounded with flames. And for that moment, for the first time, I was afraid. And I thought, dear God, don't let me be burned. And then the flames passed, and suddenly we were somersaulting over and tumbling upside down. And then we slid to a stop. All I could hear was the sound of crackling and sizzling and burning. And I thought, well, what do I do now? Because this was not what we had rehearsed. This was not what I expected. So you survived. You were one of the 185 people that survived. And there were 296 on the plane. Do you ever wonder why you were one of the survivors? Because 111 people didn't walk off that plane. I know that I was there for a reason. I was on the plane because, unbeknownst to me, the pilot's hands needed guidance. And so a prayer was put in me that I just prayed. What did you pray? The first thing that came to my mind was the pilot's hands. I closed my eyes and I just started praying for the pilots. And I asked the Lord to give them guidance and wisdom and show them what to do. And I believe my prayer was answered that day. For the first time in aviation history, the plane, a plane that was unsteerable and had no elevators, so it didn't have the ability to go up and down, and it did not have brakes and landing gear. A completely unsteerable plane was brought to the runway. And while they expected that no one would survive, 185 people lived. I know that's why I was on the plane. Where did you get that faith? I had grown up believing in the salvation of Jesus through my mother and through our attending our local Catholic church. But there was a part of me that always wondered, ever since I was a little girl, will what I believe in prove to be real to me when I need it the most? And when I am sitting at the edge of eternity, will I be afraid? And will God be real to me? And so what was decided for me on July 19, 1989, was, yes, all of that is more real than anything else. How do I have that relationship that you have that is really getting you through and helping you live a bigger life than you could have imagined? Well, I think it's really through knowing who the person of Jesus Christ is. And we learn about him through scripture, through what he said, 
through what he did. We learn about him in community. We learn about him through the lives and experiences of other people. And then we just learn about him by spending time with him. You have racked up how many miles on an airplane? You're undaunted by what happened to you. I have hit the million mile ever mark. And I have looked death in the eye and sat and glanced over the edge of eternity. And I have to say, I believe that death is nothing to fear because I know that this life, it will just usher in the next life, it's the real life. Day. It's graduation day.